What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from High on Android, DopeTechDaily.com and today we've got the Samsung Gear S2 in the house. This is the third Friday in a row I've had a new smartwatch to unbox so it's been pretty crazy lately with all the smartwatches coming in. I'm going to open the box uh, real quick and then give you guys a look at the comparison to the other watches I have. Um, and we'll also go ahead and try to pair this up because this is not Android Wear. This is Tizen, Tizen, call it whatever you want. I'm going to stick with Tizen because I just like to do whatever I want. That's how I roll. Um, but anyway, let's unbox this, uh, talk a little bit about the specs, take a look at the apps that are on here, try to pair it up. Uh, let's try to pair it up to something that's not a Samsung phone since this is supposed to work now with most Android phones as long as you've got KitKat or Greater. Uh, so I'm going to try to pair it up to the Axon Pro. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I don't really need the unboxing knife. It's just got some plastic right here. Lift the lid and there it is. Now, one thing this morning, all the blogs were reporting, except for ours at High and Android, that the Gear S2 was widely available today. It was only available in this black color, in the regular Gear S2, which Best Buy is calling the Gear S2 Sport. So it's got the rubber band, um, not the leather band. So the, the Classic was not available today anywhere uh, that I'm aware of. And also the white version of the Sport or the proper Gear S2, uh, it was also not available. So we've got the watch. We'll take a tour of that in a second. See what else is in here. It's got a little watch holder. Um, on the inside here, we've got a power brick, I guess. Of course, we've got charging cable, of course. And look at this. This little dock here is super similar to the one from Motorola. In fact, let me give you a comparison. There's the one from Motorola. It's smaller because my Moto 360, which I'm wearing, is a bigger watch, but it's very, very, almost identical. So Samsung getting a little inspiration from Motorola, and you got a Samsung uh, branding there. Let's put that to the side. So that's how you're gonna charge up your device wirelessly there. Uh, and then what do we get here? So let's have a look at this. Oh, this is kind of nice. So you can see here, you actually got a replacement, you got a replacement band right here. So that's a good look right there. <clears throat> Samsung including that for you. And then of course, as usual, we've got the structure manuals. Let's just see if there's anything useful. Elevate your Samsung experience, health and safety. I don't care about that. Let's see if it says something about the extra band. It tells us how to use the gear bezel, charge it wirelessly. Uh, you see the device layout there. We've got the back button, the bezel for rotating and the power and home button there on the bottom. And then Tells us how to connect it, and then here you see how you can replace the strap uh, there. Use that replacement strap that you have um, included in the box. So that's nice. They gave you an extra one. Um, let's see what it says here on the Elevate Samsung thing. Anything interesting there? No, nah, this is just accessories, so you can go check out their website. All right, so let's throw all this all to the side. So we've got everything in the box, including our replacement strap. That's nice. All of our instructions. And let me move the box out of the way. Let's get into the main attraction here. So the main attraction, of course, being the watch. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off of this guy. Put that in focus. Take the plastic off and I'll put this on. Let's see if we can pair it up. So well, let's see, there's a little lever on the back, I guess. Plastic gives me fits taking it off on devices. There we go. So the plastic on here, and there's your watch. So you've got a nice uh, sort of silver tone around the bezel there. Uh, you see the two buttons there, the aforementioned uh, the back button, your power and home button, and then you got the bezel itself. A nice feeling rubber strap, so this is a great one for exercising. You can see you got an easy release mechanism there for taking the strap off, as mentioned. Uh, and then of course back here you've got um, 316L stainless steel case right there. You see the branding, pretty similar to what they have actually on the Apple Watch on the inside. Um, so let's go ahead and boot this up and let's see if we've got any juice. I hope we do um, because I want to pair it up for you guys, show you some of the apps and then also make sure it can actually pair to an Android phone that isn't Samsung. So you can see here, let me just um, clear my notifications and then we can try to connect it. So I already installed the Gear S or the Galaxy Gear app on my ZT Axon Pro. So this is a brand new phone. It's come out in like the last month. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing, my review of the ZT Axon Pro, go check it out. So this should be able to pair up. So 
let's go through the setup really quick. It says, let's try to rotate. So you can see here, I can rotate the bezel to choose my Wi-Fi network. So I can choose my Wi-Fi network. And again, I'm gonna enter my password. Um, so no one steal my, so you can use the keyboard actually to rotate. You can rotate the bezel to use the keyboard as well. So that's kind of nice. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the password in behind the camera. So let me do that really quick. It'll probably be a lot easier. All right, YouTube, sorry about that, we're back. I was taking a second to put in the Wi-Fi password. It's kind of hard to type on this smaller screen. That's definitely somewhere I'm gonna miss my original Gear S. But now let's go ahead and pair it up. So now I'm ready to go ahead and pair the device. So we're gonna to connect to gear and see if we can pair up for um, the Axon Pro. So first let me make sure the gear is actually searchable. Gotta go into settings here and to connections. Let me check the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on, so should be able to find it here. Let's see if it does. And scanning, but nothing yet. So it says it's visible. Gear not found. Turn on your gear and try again. So All right, it's not pairing up. So this is somewhat strange. Maybe Samsung lied to us. Oh, there we go, Gear S2, we found it. So now we can go ahead and connect. Confirm pass key, it says it want to pair to the Axon Pro. And uh, we just press the check mark there. And it should be connected, hopefully. Let's see. All right, YouTube, welcome back again. Uh, I had some serious problems. The ZT Axon Pro did not work. I did some digging and I found out that Samsung released an official list of devices that would work at launch and ZTE, the Axon Pro is not on there. So there you go. It would not pair with the Gear S2. So I figured, hey, let's try the Motorola Moto X Pure and see if that'll work. So let's give that a shot and see if we can possibly get it to work with the Moto X Pure Edition. And then if not, I've got my trusty Note 5. It appears that a lot of the flagships that are smaller flagships may not work because so far I haven't had any luck with these two. So we're just trying to test a few devices um, to see if any of these will work that are not necessarily on the official list. And once again, you can see it's having a problem scanning and actually finding my Gear S2, which is unfortunate. So it looks like, once again, we're gonna have the same problem that I had. We're gonna have the same problem that I just had with the Axon Pro, I believe. It looks like it's not gonna connect. And there it is, so it appears. And then I think you guys will be able to see the same problem I had before. It gives me a pass key. Oh wait, there we go. So it says to pair, so pair and pair. I did not get that far before. And it says install the Gear S2 plugin. So I guess we should do that. And then we might be in business here. It looks like it's gonna work with the Moto X Pure. So that's good news. So it does appear you can use your Gear S2 with a non-Samsung phone. Samsung didn't lie about that. It's just you need to take a look at that approved list. I'll drop the link down in the description where you can find that list. And apparently the Moto X Pure is going to work. The ZT Axon Pro did not. So Samsung accessory service. We've got a few apps here that we need to install. If you're not using a Samsung phone, so let's go ahead and install those so we can make sure the app is working perfectly. And while it's installing, now that it's actually working, I'll show you guys a quick tour around the Gear S2. You see here we've got the home screen. You can swipe over, you can go to your apps, and you can use the bezel, the rotating bezel, to rotate around. You got your recent apps, running, settings, schedule, S voice, weather, alarms, and then you can go to the next page timer, there's a whole bunch of apps, stopwatch, a bunch of Samsung apps, Bloomberg, CNN, music player, gallery, buddy, find my phone, and uh, this is find my gear, so you can enable that, and that'll then let you be able to locate your gear. So I gotta agree to all of these conditions for the Samsung app, sign my life away here, and um, use your Samsung account to stop anyone from reactivating your gear. Yes, we can do that. 
Uh, I think I have to sign in, so I'll skip that for now. Um, so apparently, we can indeed pair up our gear. Uh, let me enable notifications, obviously. I also have an Android Wear device connected to the Moto X Pure. So, and then you can obviously choose your notifications here and those will notify you on your Gear S2. So I think I've pretty much ran out of time. This is when I want to make this unboxing kind of quick. So you guys can see sort of how the apps work. You've got the rotating bezel here. Um, you can use that to navigate the interface. Uh, the screen looks really beautiful. The watch is a bit smaller than my Moto 360. I think I'm going to do a follow-up video comparing in depth all the watches I have. So I'm going to end this one here. If you guys have any questions just about pairing up the watch, uh, again, I'm going to drop the list of compatible phones down below. I'm going to play with it a little bit, and then I'll do another comparison video to follow up later. All right, guys, this has been my unboxing of the Gear S2. I appreciate you guys checking it out. If you want to follow me, Google+, Twitter, the links are in the description. Check out news.highonandroid.com and dopetechdaily.com for great Android news. And we also got some giveaways coming up. I appreciate you checking it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.